I am SSS. I am SSS. I am SSS. I am SSS. We are SSS. I'm SSS. I am SSS. I am SSS. I'm Jessica Jaramillo. I am SSS and I am an academic coach. I am Anton Mills. I am SSS and I am an RA. I'm Kiana Gonzalez and I'm SSS and I got involved in Leadership Legacy. My name is Jason Pelham. I am SSS and I was a student athlete who was not on scholarship. I'm Cameron Madison. I'm Sydney Jackson. We, we are SSS, SSS and we studied abroad, abroad in South Africa. Africa. Hi, I'm Marissa Ferreo. I'm SSS and I'm the senior peer coach for the peer coaching program. I'm Justice Lopez. I am SSS and I was Jonathan the Husky. Hi, I'm Prakaya Kinnebrew. I am SSS and I'm a student leader. Hi, my name is Samantha Conyers and I'm a campus exchange student. So the reason I chose to become an academic coach is because I actually struggled my first year here at UConn. So I decided to come to the Academic Achievement Center with the help of SSS and was able to get tools from something as far as time management to study skills to stress management. What I took away from academic coaching was not only interpersonal skills but uh, leadership skills as well. I was able to learn from the Academic Achievement Center and really put myself in a position where I would strive and go forth in my academics. The reason why I chose to be an RA is because I wanted to be developed into a student leader. Through that I got to meet tons of new people, residents, other RAs and hall directors and my network has expanded in so many ways. So I got involved with the program um, through Joanna. She actually nominated me and I chose her to be my mentor since she's been my mentor since SSS started for me. And what I really took away from the program um, was I really was able to understand my abilities better and it prepared me to be a leader in the real world. Coming into college, I wasn't sure if athletics was the road I wanted to take, but after talking it over with a few people, I decided that I'll make that jump. And it was a great experience. It taught me time management, you know, balancing practice with you know, my coursework, but it also taught me responsibility, being responsible for my own coursework because I wasn't available to those same resources that scholarship athletes have, but I did take advantage of the resources that SSS provided me. Studying abroad in South Africa, Cape Town, was really amazing. We had an internship when I worked in the aquarium, which was really awesome and hands-on. And we also had class where we learned about the history of politics in South Africa and just experiencing the community and how close everybody was, which is an amazing experience. South Africa, the best experience of my life. I'm glad I did it. I didn't want to do it. But every day I went into the SSS office, Joanna was always like, Ken Rick, let's go. Are you going to do it? No. Are you going to do it? No. Then finally she asked me and I said, OK, I'll try it. And then I went, I enjoyed myself. I had the opportunity to take a class and I had the opportunity to do an internship at Black Sash. I joined the peer coaching program because I had a really good freshman year experience with my peer coach. Um, she was there to teach me all the ins and outs of UConn and she was someone more on my level who I can relate to, to talk not only about academic aspects but also social and cultural aspects. This was very important to me to have someone more relatable aside from the SSS counselors to talk about these types of situations, challenges, and questions I had about the university. Being Jonathan the Husky was such an incredible and amazing experience. To represent the spirit of the University of Connecticut, the best university in the world, was incredibly transformative. Hearing the students cheer at the top of their lungs in Gamble Pavilion, cheering on the basketball capital of the world, traveling America, cheering on our Huskies winning national championships was unforgettable. The experience wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. I thought it would take me a while to adjust, but thanks to the SSS counselors, they really helped me get adjusted to this campus and get familiar with people and friends and connections up here. The thing that really helped me adjust to getting on this campus was being involved in the African American Culture Center. I was in a fashion show and I met so many friends through that and I'm so happy I got involved in that program because of my friendships I gained. So I've been a McNair Scholar. Um, I co-founded an organization called SIS. I've danced, I've stepped, I've also mentored. Um, I've been a part of the head and master program for the Game of Promise. And I think it's important that you have the academic portion, but also make connections, make friends. Um, and that also helps you with your success here at the university. 
So this is what a typical SSS student looks like. I believe in all of you. You all can do it. Um, so be great. Bye.